stay I'm, I'm born I'm born and brought up in Bilai Raipur uh, Chhattisgarh so uh, yeah after my graduation I was always uh, endowed in analytics uh, I started working in my own startup first and then later on moving to a corporate world where I started working for big corporates in risk analytics and data science fields it's been 6 years that I'm working so yeah The biggest point in India is that if you want to further pursue in analytics in India, it's bit of uh, it's it's stuck at a place where everything is so academic and theoretical. Uh, you don't really get that uh, exact practical exposure. And after years of experience, uh, I want to have that strategic as well as an academic mix or blend of things, uh, which uh, only I guess the biggest IIMs here provide that kind of thing. But I I went through the curriculums. It was not so good. Then later on, choosing the next option is that you have to choose something from abroad. But I think um, Canada uh, was the biggest uh, attraction point because it's easy to move. It's easy to live. Uh, things are great there. Uh, you get brilliant opportunities there. And uh, plus, uh, the, the I mean, it's as competitive uh, as any college in the world. So. that's where i chose to study in canada so uh, it was firstly brilliant uh, actually meeting connecting with trupti ma'am um, i uh, i just randomly happened to call her uh, i saw her number somewhere and i called her and uh, the, the even in the first kind of uh, suggestions that she was trying to give it was as good as that she has already enrolled me and she has already onboarded me uh she gave me the most uh, exact true subtle and um, uh, the real kind of uh, scenarios where i should go what i should do what i should where should i apply because uh, i just wanted to end at a place where i am just done with my exams i'm just done with my scores later on i do not want to take any responsibility i just want someone to guide me and i guess tripti ma'am did it brilliantly for me and that's the reason that i'm going to such a good college so i applied to a uh, multiple colleges uh, particularly in shulik there was no uh, there is a lack of funds there so there was no scholarship scholarship usually you get after you join uh, the college that's kind of a culture in shulik the pre admission uh, uh, kind of scholarships are not available and i guess a lot of people that i know from shulik uh, did not get so so it's difficult there but again it's worthwhile so uh, just like canada there is another country in new zealand and australia so uh, it's as good as canada but again uh, <clears throat> there are few factors uh, where you want to see yourself you need to understand what kind of career path you want to take i felt that uh, my career path will be better off in canada than australia new zealand so i chose canada but again uh, uh, canada australia new zealand are similar countries so they have equal opportunities it's up to you what you want to choose uh, i have always been doing analytics uh, i like analytics uh, i like how thing i i'm able to predict things i'm able to read data I, i get the story behind everything so i have always been interested in analytics uh, it it's a challenging field where you need to constantly produce insights you need to constantly uh, give your thoughts around it and it's kind of an art when you try to use analytics to model some kind of things so i like doing that i like challenges so that's why i chose that i want to stay in this field itself i would just say that it was smooth uh, it was the most brilliant experience that i can say because uh, quite honestly uh, i just was done with my score after that i did not have to do anything everything was just handed to me on a silver plate so uh, everything every kind of tension every kind of struggle was done with uh, by the grad grad teams and i would just like to take names of dakshita ma'am and uh, pranita ma'am they actually handled me so well because i am kind of a person who is very anxious uh, they would 
obviously they will call, call me they will calm me up they will say that everything will go fine um so they they have handled me brilliantly because i am i think that i am kind of a difficult person to handle and even after that everything went so smoothly so yeah hats off to them and hats and i would just thank them for handling me uh firstly uh, it's all about the story uh, what i would just say profile is there is an academic stuff to it which is important and mostly if you want to apply to big colleges it's a it's an essential part your scores and academics but it's not the end of the story it's how you produce your story it's how you believe because for anyone to apply at any college what you want to be clear of is what you want to do in life because what i have understood is that every college will ask you the same question and there's a reason they want to ask you is that if you are clear in your life they are also clear they want to onboard you or not if you are if you are fungible with multiple things you are in in a finicky state where you want to do this in some part of time and you want to do other things but that's something you have to be crystal clear so i have was crystal clear that i want to do analytics from the start so maybe that helped me in my story building it helped me in my sop it helped me in my lors uh, otherwise the academic part always remains there i mean always focus on your studies don't let it go but that's not the end of the story you always get a chance to revive so just do that but be clear what you want to do just don't apply it for the sake of applying say believe it trust it and then apply that what you want to do